Robinson, both of them have leaders, obviously Danny's a like freshman, Robinson's a like senior, but just kind of what makes them different, what makes it uh, unique? Uh, Rob, you know, Rob, he's one of the best in the team. He can run, he can run, he can run. So, I mean, that puts him over a lot of, I mean, not just quarterbacks, but a lot of people in the, in the team. So, that's always a good thing to have. You know, they're both good passes, so there's nothing really good. You've, uh, you're a senior, if I'm not mistaken. you got, uh, I mean, you've had, um, you know, a bunch of different quarterbacks you've had thrown with you. Know, right. It's a rotation or just, uh, you know, the way it's played out over the past few years. I mean, is it going to be different having just one set quarterback as Coach Hazel said, and how do you see that impacting the offense? Uh, I mean, it's not it's not going to be too different because, you know, you establish your, your relationships with them in practice anyway. So, uh, but it's going to it's gonna be, I mean, for the, for the quarterbacks, I'm, I'm assuming it's great, you know, to get that rhythm, you know, get that uh, consistency going. Gabe, uh, we're from Columbus. Um, how has uh, Coach Hazel uh, excited the fan base, excited you as a player? Uh, he's a great coach. You know, he knows what it takes to win. You know, being from Ohio State, going to uh, Kent State, and you know, having a great work out there. You know, he definitely knows, and the, and the fan base is really excited to get this started. So he's brought some. He's brought his own street cred. Most I mean, he, I mean, he's definitely. got he's got that respect given what he did at Kent. Most definitely. And, you know, he nothing lacks about him. You know, the way he carries himself. You know, he you know he's all about his business. You know, that's what type of guy he is. Um, what? How will Purdue be different? I mean, uh, uh, what, what know, do you expect? I just I, all overall discipline. You know, I, just our togetherness. You know, we we go out there and win as a team. You know, we lose as a team. You know, so we all won. So, so he's. Kind of yeah. solidify, galvanize the, yeah, the just, group. Just yeah, the overall relationship as a group, you know, just put together. You know, it's gonna take all of us to win the championship. Um, and, and how far do you think you have to go uh, to get where you want to be? I mean, we the sky's the limit, you know. We, so we just gotta keep working, working hard, you know. Coach Hazel's been the historical step is gonna take us there, you know. So all we gotta do is keep working on it, you know. Uh, are there more? Is there more excitement about the program? Ticket sales? That could you see yeah. some of that? Do you feel it? Yeah, most definitely. You know, the, the fan base excited that uh, Coach Hazel came in. You know, it's really a uh, track record. You know, I mean, who, who's not excited? So. No, we, everybody's excited to see what the season got in store. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Matt Thomas, I'm the editor-in-chief of The Exponent. A uh, couple questions for you. First, you're the only one out of the three here that doesn't have a Twitter. Is there a reason you stay off the uh, social I, networks? Actually, I deleted it, but I, I just got it back probably a few days ago. Okay. So I have it, I have it back now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the second question is, uh, you've been listed to the Mackey watch list, the first uh, award winner that was Purdue, Purdue uh, grad. What would it mean for you if you were to, were to win it? You know, it's, it's a great opportunity. You know, I feel like uh, I've been put on the watch list, and I had a, uh, you know, a pretty average year last year. But, you know, given what I know I can do, you know, it's, I'm just excited how far I can take it, you know, into the, into the actual actual uh, John Mackey award list, you know, actually getting it. And then uh, with Hope, it was kind of, the fans like to call it a horizontal passing game, uh, and you've got a former wide receivers coach as a coach now. Do you see the like extended game going up the field, getting a couple more touches? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, we have uh, Coach Shoot. You know, he's our offensive coordinator. He takes the vertical. You know, he's you know not the. I mean, the horizontal is just is Coach North's thing. You know, so I mean, this is Coach Shoot's thing. So we're gonna we're gonna let the, let the ball go a little bit. Let's stretch for vertical. All right, thank you. Yeah.